Hey friends, today I'm going to be showing you how to do your own motivational poster. I'm going to be showing you in two ways. One is through Adobe and one is through PicMonkey. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is through Adobe. The first thing you want to do is set up your fonts like I'm doing here. And then you set up your um, Adobe. And then you look up motivational quotes that you basically want to use. So you go on Google and you search motivational quotes. Then after that, if you go to images, it should show you a whole bunch of them. I'm not actually going to be using any of these quotes though because I've already looked up or I already have one that I want to use. But the one that I will be showing you through Adobe is something that I just basically made up. It's pretty generic. So after that, when you are set with which motivational quote you're going to use, you're just going to open up Adobe, you're going to go to File, you're going to press New, and then you're pretty much going to set up the size of your image. I went with 600 by 600, and background contrast will be white. Make sure it's white. It's very, very important for you to press white. Now we're going to go ahead and choose whatever font type we're going to use for this specific motivational poster. I think the one I'm using is called Signerica. I'm not so sure though, so I'm going to go double check. And once I figure out which one it is, I'm going to go ahead and post it down below the description box. So once we've chosen our font type, we're going to go ahead and type out the motivational quote that we're going to use. Mine is very generic. I'm just going to write, I don't know, Good Morning Gorgeous or something like that. So feel free to uh, play around with it. As you can see on here, I'm playing around with the colors, the font size. I'm trying to figure out what's cool with me and what I don't like and stuff like that. So once you're set and ready to go and you've finished doing your whole motivational thing, you can just hit file and go to save as, and then pretty much, um, I don't know, make up some kind of name for it so that it's easier for you to look it up. Make sure that you change it to JPEG so that you can um, upload it on, which one is it, Microsoft Word? Okay, so now we're on to the next option, which is the easier option. If you're not the type of person to put in a lot of effort into your work or into Adobe, or if you find it confusing, there is an easier option for you, which is going on Google and looking up Pick Monkey. It's pretty much like Adobe, but on steroids, because everything is so much easier, and it's really, really, really fun when you're on it. So once you're on the site, you're going to go ahead and press on that big letter T that says design. And you're pretty much going to choose whatever. I chose 5 by 7 I think. And I went on here. On the side, you can see all these like basic things that you do. So first option all the way to your left, the square thingy is the crop. And then the second is enhancement. I think the second and third are both enhancements. And the letter T is font. Um, the butterfly, I believe, is like stickers and stuff like that. Obviously, font is the most important thing right now. So we're going to go ahead and focus on that. If you see any font that has, or anything actually in this site that has a crown right beside it, like these ones over here, that means you can't use it. It's only for um, if you signed up for the Royal Membership. And I got no time for that. So I'm going to go ahead and use whatever that I can use right now. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it so that you know what it looks like after. Coming in on 
So now that it's done, you should have something like this. At the top, it gives you an option right there where it says save. Go to save, Bianca. Go to save. There you go. Save. And then you pretty much just, again, um, write any name you would like for it so it's easier for you to look it up. And then at the bottom, it gives you like different qualities for it. I stuck with the middle one. And just hit save. So once we're done, we're going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Word and you're going to go to Insert and you're going to hit Photo. So Insert and then Photo and then you're pretty much just going to look up the picture that you saved from a while ago. And once you have that, this is why I said that it was extremely important for you to have a white background is because once you put it on here, you want it to only print the font, not the background of it as well. And if we do everything just on Microsoft Word, it won't give you as much flexibility as doing it in PicMonkey or Adobe. So that's why it's important for you to have a white background. Then you pretty much just figure out how big you want it to be. I pretty much played it by ear. And then once you figure out what that is, then you hit print. Once you're done printing it, you should be stuck with something like these. These are um, just a couple that I printed out and measured out already as well. That's why there's a uh, background on there. For the next few steps, you're going to need the following. A ruler and a pencil. A laminating pouch that I got from Dollarama. These ones come in fives. And a mounting tape that I also got from Dollarama. All of these should honestly only cost you 2 to $3. Now we're going to go ahead and measure our motivational poster. Um, the laminating pouches that I got, wow that was hard to say, um, the maximum size that it will cover up is 5x7. So I pretty much just made sure that everything is smaller than 5x7. I do not know what 5x7 looks like so I pretty much just put it on top of the font and made sure that it fits into the um, laminating pouch. Um, it also comes with a grid as well, so you can use that to measure, but I pretty much just played it by ear. So this is what it should look like when you're done. Now we're going to go ahead and cut it. Take runway 5 land. And you should end up with something like this. The final step would be pretty much taking an eraser and making sure that you erase all of the border that you did prior to cutting it. Once you are done with that, you can go ahead and get your laminating pouches ready. So the ones that I got, it has a grid at the back, so it looks like this. It makes it easier to kind of set it straight. So what you do is you open it, you stick it all the way in, you fold it back, and you pretty much measure whether or not it's how straight you want it to be and once you're ready you just go ahead and cut it so once you're done you can go ahead and remove the grid to reveal the sticky part of the laminate 
and then you can just go ahead and flatten it to make sure there are no air bubbles but if you do make a mistake keep in mind that you can always just buy a laminate that is repositionable like mine and once you're done that you go ahead and take your mounting tape you cut off four small pieces and stick them at the back and you're pretty much done Your final product should look something like this. And that's it. Thank you very much guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!